You want to take the easiest way to record your videos if you use an Elgato prompter or if you record your videos directly on your PC using OBS. What I will show you will make your life easier even when you want to increase your productivity or record your display. To inspire you, I will show how I use the Elgato Stream Deck and how I set it up. Of course, this is a matter of preference and you can use it in many different ways for many applications, but my method is to inspire and show you what you can do with this great device. Briefly, if you don't know what a Stream Deck does, it is a controller created by Elgato with 32 buttons, 15 or 6 with knobs. There are multiple versions of this controller and you can set them up as you like. I will make this entire demonstration using the version that has 32 buttons Stream Deck XL. If you have a smaller version, the only difference will be about the number of buttons and some models also have knobs or small displays. I consider this big one the best for me because I can have everything I want at the press of a button. And by the way, this video is not sponsored, I bought all the equipment presented in this video with my own money. All the buttons are customizable via the Stream Deck software and if you are creative, you can control almost everything with this device. The buttons are small screens and you can also customize the graphic on them, it's crazy useful. Now, how I use it for talking head video creation and how I set it up. Of course, connect the Stream Deck to your Mac or PC and install the software and all the updates. This is what the software looks like. In the upper left corner, you can select your device if you use multiple ones. And under that, you can save and select your profiles if you want to create multiple ones. In the middle, you can see the buttons. This is different according to the layout of your Stream Deck if you have another version. On the right side, you will see a ton of functions and you can install more. We will get to that immediately. How do I use it to record my talking head videos? Mainly, it helps me to control the Elgato prompter and speeds up the workflow incredibly well. On the Elgato Stream Deck software, go to the Elgato market and install the Camera Hub plugin. After the installation, you will see on the right side the Camera Hub and various functions. I like to have a button that starts the Camera Hub software. To open any application from your computer, on the right sidebar, go to the system and drag the open function on the preferred button. On the tab App Files, click on the folder and choose the application from your application folder or program files on Windows. You can also add a name if you want that. And now when you will press this button, your chosen application will be launched. In my case, Camera Hub. I use the button above to start and stop automatic scrolling. I drag from the right sidebar the prompter control function and select play dash pause. When I press this button, the automatic scroll will start and when I press it again, it will stop. I use the next two buttons to increase and decrease the brightness of the prompter screen. From the Camera Hub plugin, I drag and drop the prompter display function. I click on it and at the settings tab, I choose brightness, type adjust and select how you like it to be static and that will increase or decrease the brightness with the selected amount or slider horizontal or vertical i like it vertical so the first one i want to increase the brightness by five percent now i will copy this button select it press command c go to where you want to paste it and press command v and change the value to decrease the value by five percent now you will see a slider and increase or decrease the brightness by 5%. This is so useful. I use the next two buttons to increase and decrease the contrast of the prompter display. Because we can select that with the same function, I will copy the buttons from the brightness and at the settings tab, I will choose contrast instead of brightness. At type, select adjust, vertical and increase it by 5%. On the next one, the same, but decrease it by 5%. And now I can increase and decrease the contrast extremely fast. With the next two buttons, I like to set two different vertical margin size. Sometimes I like to have the margins at 52 and sometimes at 79. To set this, I need to use the prompter appearance function. I will drag it to the button. At setting, I will use vertical margins. You can use it for many other things also. 
at type, I will select set because I want it to jump to a specific percentage, not to increase or decrease with a specific amount. I want to jump directly to 52% and set the value at 52%. Next, I copy this function above and set it to 79. And now, when I press the button to trigger 52%, I will set the margins to 52%. And when I press the 79% button, it will set the margins at 79%. With the next two buttons, I like to increase or decrease the scroll speed, but gentle, with 1%. For this, I use the prompter scrolling function. Type adjust, icon style, I like it slider, vertical, and step size, I want it to increase the speed by 1%. I will copy this one below and set it to decrease the speed only by 1%. Now, when I record and for some phrases I need a lower speed, I decrease it and increase it as I want. With the next two buttons, I like to scroll up and down. Sometimes I need to repeat something and I need to go back a few lines or scroll faster a few lines. I use the prompter control function again. At the setting, I select scroll and choose to scroll up by 1%. I copy the button and set it to scroll down by 1%. Now I can move the text faster up and down. On the next button, I like to use preview to prompter from the camera hub functions. What does this do? If you have a camera connected to the camera hub via capture card like Delgato Camlink 4K, you will see in the camera tab the live image from the camera. And if I press this button, it will change the prompter display from the prompter mode where I see my text to the preview mode and I can see myself on the screen of the prompter. Remember that to have this preview, you need to have the Camlink 4K to connect the camera to your PC. The capture card is around $79 at the time of publishing this video. I will add affiliate links in the description for the Stream Decks, Camlink 4K, the Elgato Prompter and my other equipment if you want to invest in something. If you click on my links, you're not going to pay anything extra, but I will earn a small commission and this will help me keep sponsors away from this channel and create more valuable content for you. Thank you. With this button, I can now simply change the view from prompter to preview my camera and check if everything is okay. With the button above, I turn on or off the prompter screen. There are some moments when I have it connected and I take a break and I want to have it off to not disturb me or redirect my attention. For this, I use the prompter display function and at setting, I choose power. Now with this button, I switch between the script mode where I see the text and display mode where I use the prompter as a secondary display. This is useful when I have a video call and I use it as a display to put the person that I'm speaking with on the prompter and look into the lens while speaking. For this, I use the function prompter mode type toggle, state one display and state two text. And here I need to select one script. The next button I use is to go to the next page of the Stream Deck if I want more functions and I don't have enough slots. You can add this from Navigation and Next Page. This is how I control my Elgato prompter easily and fast. With the buttons above, I also control my OBS Studio when I record the videos using OBS. The first button will launch the OBS. You can set it the same as you set it to launch the camera hub. And to have the functions for OBS, install also from the marketplace the OBS plugin. With this button, I like to start and stop the recording. I just drag it here. And with the next one, I pause and resume the recording. With the next three buttons, I trigger my OBS profiles. I have one with all the settings to record 4K, another one to record Full HD, and one to record my laptop screen. So from the OBS functions, I drag the profiles function and choose what profile I want to trigger. You need to have the OBS open to see the profiles. The next button will turn on and off my search with the camera. And the last one for OBS just opens the folder where I have my recording. From the system, I use the open function and choose the folder. I have a full tutorial about how I record my videos in OBS if you are interested in this topic and I will add a link in the description. This is all I control when it comes to OBS Player, simple and fast. With the buttons above, I create print screens and I record my laptop screen fast. And if you find this video useful until now, don't forget to press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. Thank you. With the first one, I create a print screen of the full display. 
On Mac, you need to press Command plus Shift plus 3 to do that. So I drag and drop a hotkey, click on hotkey and press the buttons combination. And now when I press this button, it will press three buttons for me and directly make a print screen. If I want to capture just a portion of the screen, on Mac you need to press Command plus Shift plus 4. So I have another hotkey with this combination, I press the button and select the portion that I want to capture. With the next button I will launch the QuickTime player. If you press Command plus Ctrl plus N you will create a new screen recording. So I press a button to open QuickTime and another one to create a new screen recording. I press Enter on the keyboard and it will start to record my laptop screen. The last four buttons are for productivity. I have three buttons that set timers for 15 minutes, 30 minutes and 1 hour. Sometimes I take a short break and sometimes I want to take a break to read for an hour. So I will just press one button, go to my reading chair and after one hour this timer will alert me. To set these timers, go to Slim Deck, drag a timer, set the amount of time and choose a sound. Now just press a button and the timer will start running. And on the last button I have a clock. I installed a plugin from the market called Surprise Clock dragged it to the button and selected the face. You can customize much more things, play with them and find your style. But you can have the Stream Deck control everything, have a ton of shortcuts and still record a video in a longer session than you wish. This is why the Elgato Prompter is a blessing. And I will give you a dedicated video where I show you how I use it and what you can do to speed up your recording sessions like crazy. This device is magic check it and transform your workflow into something incredibly fast.